some more, nigga. She banking on me on the bank. bank. I smack her, she let her get spanked. Get spank. I tackle her, bitch, let her wrestle. Young bachelor, we let her play. play. So come out when I move the drapes. Know my move when I grab your waist. Know you fucking a man that's made. Baby, hey. Keep it low key, she ain't out the fame. No, she ain't out the fame. You ain't like that old who I used to be fucking. You don't have nothing to say. Don't care about no cuffing, you wanna keep busting it. Don't let me know when you came. I love you in so many ways. Don't know why you never complain. But you, I can never be shamed. Hello, you guys. This may be the beginning of a vlog, it may be the end of a vlog. I am not entirely sure. But I'm getting ready to head out now to go to make candles. I was trying to find my lip liner, but I can't find it. You know, you guys know, I don't know how to put on makeup or anything. Here's my outfit of the day. I have on a white turtleneck. You just have to let it be known that you're here. Anywho, I have on this white turtleneck, a top, and the shawl is from Shein. If you guys watched my last video, you would have seen it in the haul. And then I just have on some dark colored jeans. They are straight leg and some toffee colored boots. Little like faux leather material. So yes, that's what we're wearing. And we're about to go out. I've always wanted to do the candle making thing. So we are going to head out there now. And I will see you guys when we get there. I would like to get to know if you could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know Then I won't be for real I could be wrong but I feel like something to a Pacers game. Here is the outfit. Let me turn a little. So I have on a top, black skirt, black boots, black tights. And yeah, I'll come back with my coat. And this is our final look. So we're about to go out to the game. I'll see y'all there. Push P. Yeah. Push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh, Point us in the paddock in my piece. I'm pushing P. Cock no helmet for my P. We don't want no peace. Got a spot.
we're just about to take a couple shots before going out to a Super Bowl party. But the game was pretty cool. We didn't stay that long though because we just weren't really that interested and the Pacers were kind of getting blown out. So it was just like, mm, we can go home. But This lighting is so terrible. But anywho, it's been a couple of days. On Sunday was the last time that I talked to you guys. I was going to a Super Bowl party, which was pretty fun. There was not really anything to show. Everybody was, you know, loud screaming, watching the game, drinking. Now I am on my way to go take a drug test for a job that I am starting next month. I actually quit my job yesterday. I just, honestly, like for my mental health, I just could not do it. Like I woke up yesterday and I was gonna go and I had already woke up and I was just feeling like I do not want to do this. I don't want to get up and go here. Like, I absolutely hate it. This car is so ghetto. I'm gonna hold you guys. Yesterday I woke up and I was like, I'm, I'm not going to this job. Like, I'm done. I am not doing this anymore. Like, I just felt so depressed. It was unhealthy for me to continue going. I have no clue where I'm going. woke up and I legit just typed up an email to my manager and was like please accept my formal resignation um, effective immediately and that was that and feels so good like I didn't anticipate like leaving my job this soon before starting my other one like I have like a month off which I was only gonna take two weeks um, Okay, you're talking a lot. Which I was only gonna take like two weeks, so I'm like, okay. This is a long time to be off work, but honestly, I do deserve it. And I'm just happy. I'm just a happy, happy girl. I'm so blessed and so grateful to be headed into another direction. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Things are shifting in a positive direction for me. And although I'm a pretty private person, like maybe someone is also in this situation and can relate, leaving like an unhappy, unstable, toxic work environment, is just something about it is so free. I just stop at the grocery store so that I can get a few things, but that's really it. I have nothing much on the radar, so yeah. I just thought I would update you guys with that, but I will see y'all probably not at the drug place. That's a lie. I'll probably see y'all when I get to the gym. Okay, we just made it to the gym. Drinking two different pre-workouts together, so hopefully my heart doesn't do anything crazy because I don't even know if that's safe to do, but it is from the same brand, so I don't see what the issue would be. Went ahead and went to the grocery store, so um i got that out the way i got this fat piece of salmon that i cannot wait to cook with some mashed potatoes and some broccoli i could probably eat salmon three four times a week i love i love seafood in general but i especially love salmon hey, i'm not gonna say it's my favorite because one thing about it fried fish is just a whole nother like some catfish with some hot sauce and some mustard i don't know if i can put that over that of salmon as a healthy option there you go as my favorite like healthier fish that i would actually um bake that's it because there are certain fish like catfish and perch and stuff like that that i do enjoy but only if it's um only if it's fried like i'm not eating baked catfish that's just not something that I'm into. I wouldn't even try that, honestly. I'm not into it. I already know that I'm not into it. You guys. So, I think I told you guys I was doing a 30-day challenge. My results are so good. I'm going to show you guys a picture, and then I'm going to do a whole separate detailed video on like what I did, what I ate, all of that. But I'm just going to show you guys this photo. Look at this. Are you kidding? Are you? 
one thing about it is you have to put in the work to see results but if you do like I'm telling you I could never fall off from working out at this point with the results that I've seen and just the progress in my body period like I can't even believe that there was a time where I couldn't run a mile I will talk about all of that in another video but yeah one thing about it is like after you see results I don't see how you can stop like actual results like of course you'll see a little some some here and there you'll lose a couple pounds and feel a little motivated but stuff like that still goes away like if you aren't continuously seeing progress you're and you know you're newer to it you're probably going to get back unmotivated because that's just life we're just human like it unfortunately that's just how it works for majority of people a lot for you to be able to stick it out stick to a workout and be like nah this is this is what i'm doing like i'm killing this i'm gonna go even when i don't feel like it like there has been so many days and that's how i know that i'm super super serious is because i completed that challenge i did some extra days and i never missed one single day of that 30 day challenge not even one day did i miss you have gotten to a point where you can still go to the gym um when you don't feel like it oh baby you don't unlocked it yeah enough of my rant like i said i'm gonna do a whole video on it every day when i go to the gym i put on doff and that's just period let's go get this workout i'm feeling good and yeah i may see y'all later i might not it just kind of depends on what else i do if i'm chilling in the house then i might not have nothing to vlog but yeah rushing super bad because I am about to meet my friend I need like a lippy or something I feel dry anyway about to meet my friend out but I took way too long curling my hair only five minutes away the reservation was at 12 and I'm gonna pull up at 12 10 so I mean not too bad but bad enough I've waited as long as I did to try to curl my hair like normally it doesn't take me that long but for times like this, when I have like a bad curling day, I should have just given myself more time. But yeah, I will see you guys when we get there. Put right. it out, Donna. I mean, this, so we're doing a quick I little brunch. The last time I remember, I got like a. What was it? Yeah. A Benedict of some yeah. sort. So. I'm get the farm in. You always get a little bacon and an egg. A bacon, you cannot go wrong with the bacon and an egg. They got omelets, but I'm not the. What is a potato waffle? Yeah. about to go in here and do some light shopping I don't know what I'm gonna get she already knows what she's gonna get I'll show you guys when we get inside we're only gonna go to a few stores in there which is perfectly fine with me because again I have no idea what I'm getting anyway so I'll try to think of something while I'm in there but yeah we're about to head into this mall and then afterwards we're gonna go wine tasting oh, <laughs> It 
is really cute. This is just, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put it on there. I might. Tie evenly with a clean. Yeah. So, okay. How often do you suggest like doing that? I'd say we just want to do it like every day. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm probably going to do it with work. Yeah. Okay, well, if you're not wearing it that often, okay, yeah. it's like one time. It's like so cute. You gotta get that. Look at this. This little Tom Ford, I have to get. I need it. What is that? <gasps> it's hand sanitizer. Oh, it's, it's hard. Hard. Yes. Yeah. She got this, which is like basically a tester for all of the Mason Margiela perfumes. So if you're not sure which one you want to try, she found this cute little thing, and then you can figure out which ones you like. Nice. What um is that girl? Look at that. Love. And barrel, and they had a situation like this that I was actually going yeah, to get. So yep. Yeah. When I get a big old couch, I'm gonna get one of these things to put blankies in. Yes. On the side. I want a storage couch so bad. I think that'd be lovely. Okay. It's very dark in the car, but we just made it to a axe throwing place. Um, I know I told you guys that I was going to go to do the wine tasting, but long story short, we put up there, we got there, and then we just kind of felt like we weren't really into it. Actually went home, chilled out for a second. I watched a couple more episodes of Bel Air, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot. But yeah, we just pulled up to the axe throwing place. I have never done this. I catch you guys inside. I might catch you guys after. Guys, I'm getting ready to go out. Of course, I'm running late. Everybody is waiting on this girl. But it would take me a little while to just like figure out what I was going to wear. You guys can't even see me. I can't even worry about it. Okay, I need an earring. Did I put on deodorant? Oh, well, you know what? I can just pull this right one up. All right, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Always have to smell. It's good. It's good. Look, <laughs> I'm wearing ebony wood. Kyra, put me onto this scent. If you know, you know. Oh, we look good. I'm gonna show you guys, but don't judge my room. This plaid jacket, black turtleneck dress that is so cute, black bag. And then my black boots that I just got from Shein. See this in my hand, this is for you. Mm. Mm. No, forget your camera. Paris, cache, cache, Paris. I mean, they don't know each other, what are you doing? They never met in person though. I yes, they have. We didn't even know that I knew her. You did. We all used to go to ice. Oh, we did, but what are you talking about? We were the same. I met her before you even met her. Exactly. Damn, excuse me for trying to be polite. Okay, this is mine apparently, so you know how I do. Mm. <laughs> Very smooth. Very Dang, smooth. Man, you love being in the camera. Oh my god. Couldn't wait. I mean, can the camera be too wrong? I don't know that it's so much. <laughs> Not the food. Mm. <laughs> Gosh, I want juicy seafood so bad, you guys. So bad. Gonna come here you huh? You just gonna come in here for Yeah. Well, you My energy is high. It should be. Yeah, I mean, it took you long enough to get here. It should be I'm very high. You don't like four, though. We've been here. Yeah. Why well, I ain't doing four. You are. I'm gonna do, do one more after this, then I'm gonna have to breathe. Well, I'm gonna take the next one, so I'm gonna skip one. Good job. You know what? I'm gonna take this one, then I'm gonna sit You know, drink? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you know drink. <laughs> you know drink. <laughs> you know drink. <laughs> Oof. 
Who's moving out of Cashier's way? You literally got nice. the camera that stood right there. She wanna be in the camera. Did stuff. you speed yes. up? Yes. Stop fucking Oh God. Where are my water? You know what? Ma'am. Ma'am. First you're late. Now you're spilling shit. Oh my gosh. Get out. This in my head comes together. I hate when it don't go. Like, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed. Like, cause it's gonna be. But like it ha like it's normally, nice like it has to go together. together. It has to. It's gonna be a nice brunch. It's not about it. I know it's. I know it goes together, but how it's gonna flow on my body? I just have to. What you got? Something crazy? Some more of them pants? What pants? <laughs> what pants? What pants? What pants? Them plaid pants. Oh, my plaid pants? No, I didn't get another pair of plaid pants. <laughs> what were you going to tell me it was casual pants? Because <laughs> it's brunch. What do we not? Y'all don't get dressed up when y'all go brunch? No, not every time. Right. Sunday that I cannot work. Actually, I'm not going to be able to work tonight. But I will be there for the crispy chicken time. Number four. That's what I told Delaney. I said I hate going out with all the girls because there are no cases in there. That's deep. I remember I used to be that free. <laughs> So we're about to go out to Broad Ripple. I'm like four shots in. And I be feeling it a little more than usual these days because y'all know I took like a month break. So I'm not the same. I'm I'm very much different. So <laughs> I'm very much different. I'm very much different. So I will see you guys when we get out. We're probably gonna go to this hookah lounge first. And then after we go to the hookah lounge, we will go to a couple of the bars. I'm so mad because I'm hungry, so I know I'm gonna get some wings. I'm just totally useless. But I will see you guys when we get out. <laughs> Okay, you guys. <laughs> Last night, nuts. Okay, watching the circle right now. I'm watching the circle right now. I am on episode six from season three so last night i ended up linking up with some friends i inserted the clips so y'all would have saw that by now we went out to a bar it was pretty cool but i got way too lit yeah i got way too lit mm -mm. it was still giving like cute and drunk though it wasn't giving like sloppy i did throw up taylor just hit me up and was like hey do you want to go out and grab a drink and even though this popcorn is the only thing that i've been able to hold down guess what we said of course so i'm not making the best decision you know what you're in your 20s life does not always have to be correct okay like go out have a drink have a ball you don't have kids yet like i'm just telling myself i don't feel sick or anything anymore either so that's the only reason why i'm going if i felt sick or bad still no nah, i don't care about none of that but i'm just saying like is it ideal for me to go out several days in a row and drink no because i'm not my most productive when i go and do that obviously but if you have a week this is my first weekend in about five weeks at least where i've gone out and drink two nights like girl have a drink like have a drink it's okay hang out with your friends i don't get to hang out with her often so i'm like you know what i'm gonna go so hopefully i can finish my second part of this tiktok i'm trying to make because one thing about it <laughs> i actually like tiktok <laughs> i actually like it like 
I felt like, oh my God, like TikTok is for kids. Like I'm not getting on there. Like I'm just not like, and I was having my friends come to me like, girl, I spend hours on TikTok every day. Like you just get looped into it. And I'm like, I just don't understand like what's, what's on there. Like I'm, I'm thinking it's just going to be like childish things, but honestly, it's just like any other social media app that you have, you curate it to become things that you like so i purposely like a lot of posts that are like fitness based get ready with me days in my life um outfit of the day those kind of videos cooking videos because i do like to cook as well i enjoy cooking so i like a bunch of those kind of videos so now my tiktok is just full of short clips of fashion food fitness like literally all the things that I like. So I'm like, you know what? I can actually get behind this. But I will see y'all later when we get where we're going. Child, we were coming in, yes. <laughs> this is my friend Taylor. We just made it to 45. Already had a drink. This is a lemon drop with tequila. It's not focusing, but yeah. What'd you get? A uh, Hennessy sidecar. Ooh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I ain't have rice. Yeah. 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 Oh my lord. <laughs> Every time I literally get a chill. When I take this water, this drink is strong. I'm not a vodka drinker at all. Me either. Hello, you guys. I'm getting ready to go out for a little girls night and I need to do my hair really quick. I'm just gonna put some quick curls in my hair. This sewing is like at its wit's end, but I'm starting a new job soon. I'll probably get it done for that, but before that happens, I just need to make it last. A little longer so I'm just gonna do the same curls that I do in my hair literally all the time it only takes me what time is it 8 17 I should be done with this by 8 30 they're literally 10 to 15 minute curls I literally just take the flat iron and they don't have to be like super perfect cuz I'm going to go to the gym and stuff anyway so they're not going to like last but it just comes out like that a little basic curl i don't need it to be doing too much you can make it much curlier than this if you want to but because i know this is literally not going to last i'm not honestly about to put that much effort into it and I just wanted to look kind of like waves so yeah I am getting ready to go out with my two friends I figured hey why not I need to really be taking advantage of this little break that I have from work because it's about to be over after next week and I won't get to do spontaneous things like this so yeah they should be over here around probably like 8 30 ish but i already know what i'm wearing so if they pull up and all i have to do is get dressed no big deal i don't mind the apartments that i stay in but the apartments under me um the guys who live down there chain smoke 
and it makes my apartment smell so terrible it's the most annoying thing that I have dealt with in a really long time like just so annoying because like when you don't smoke you don't want your house to smell like that I don't even know what I want to do with my hair next though because I just love this sew-in like this sew-in came out so good the color everything and I'm just like I don't know what I want to do and the thing is as like a black woman you know like if you're gonna change your hair you need to change it before you start a job so that that is the hair that they've seen you with for a long time I mean you don't have to but I personally just hate the questions the like especially when I've barely been there long enough for you to be asking me any of this so is that a wig or extensions get out of my face like I don't even know you like that to be asking me personal questions like about the like how I wear my hair in a protective style like it's none of your business there a ask somebody that you actually have a relationship with or B if you don't know Google baby that's what it's there for get on the search engine and ask how do black girls usually wear their hair and weave it'll tell you a few options and one of those will be your answer and that's all you really need to know like so I really don't want to start this job with this sewing and then switch it up because everybody is gonna be like oh my god I didn't even recognize you please you knew damn well it was me I'm really excited though about starting my new job um just because I'm going to be making better money and I am going to be at a set work location a little closer to my home versus um my work location kind of being subjective also excited to just kind of have my own space and I like the fact that after I complete the training that I have that hybrid schedule because I just think that is so very important I honestly don't even see and I'm going off on a tangent right now but I honestly don't see the issue with like corporate America wanting people to return in the office for jobs that can be done at home like for me it just seems like a way to micromanage i feel like training should be done in office because well i would prefer for trainings to be done in office so that if you do have questions while you're starting out yes there will be someone who's readily available that can help you kind of walk you through things i feel like it is important to still meet your team in person um, and other people that you're going to work with rather it be virtually or in person but if you've already been working from home like during this pandemic why do you need to go back to the office it was 8 30 on my watch it just turned 8 31 but I knew I would finish within that time frame because it's so easy to do hey baby bae 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 Gotta get dressed, you guys. See you in a minute. Curls came out very good. We love that. Oh my god, this is perfect. After a good day, now I'm having a girls' night. Like this, is what I needed. Let me feel like a porn star. We have real sex. We made it back home. I'm going to go to bed, and I'm really, really tired. So I had a good time out. If you guys enjoyed this video, that will be the end of this week's weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.